Hi everyone, Barbara Rankin here today with another video tutorial. Today I'm going to use an 11 by 14 inch canvas. Uh, it's actually a canvas panel and um, I'm going to be playing with some heavy duty aluminum foil and I'm just going to, uh, being wrinkled is good and so I'm actually going to wrinkle it up and unfold it and apply it to the canvas. So let's get started. Okay, let me just set this aside for a moment. And I'm going to use some heavy gel matte medium. I didn't, wouldn't care if it was regular glossy or, uh, or matte because it's not going to be seen. I'm just going to use it as a glue to uh, hold the aluminum foil down. And I'm just going to apply some bit thickly on the on the uh, canvas and you can see it's fairly thick but not overly thick and gel mediums usually dry fairly quickly so I'm not going to take any chances I'm going to start by wrinkling this up gently we don't want to tear it too much although it probably wouldn't matter it probably make Good texture. So here I'm just trying to unfold it carefully without tearing it too much. Not that tears will matter because it will just add to the texture and it becomes invisible practically anyway. And I've decided to go ahead and tear it into, ha into uh, smaller pieces and I'm applying more gel medium so I can just go ahead and apply it at once. And go ahead and continue in this fashion, uh, applying the gel medium to glue it down and add the next piece sort of butt it up as best you can. You don't want too much excess uh, folded over the already glued down piece. And I'm just going to tear off that excess. I don't need that much. And go ahead and uh, apply your adhesive and fold those edges over to uh, make a nice covered edge in case you don't frame the canvas. If you do, you don't really have to worry about it so much. And here I'm adding a few little pieces where my piece of aluminum foil wasn't quite large enough to go around. This piece was just laying on my desk so I didn't actually cut it to size where you will probably have that opportunity. Now the fun begins. Let's add some color. First I'm going to use the, um, the Solution by ColorArt. It's uh, an acrylic medium wash. And what I do is I, I save this bottle from after I used to up the solution and I've made a mixture one part water one part solution and so I keep this one separate from this one this one I make watercolor paints with and this one I use as more like a fixative so what I usually do is I put it I pour this into a small mister bottle and I've listed it so I know that this is uh, the one-to-one -one solution mixture and I just like to um, start out by spritzing my canvas and just getting it wet you could also um, just start sprinkling your colors I've picked some colors that I haven't used yet this one is blue zircon it's a primary elements pigment and if you remember from my last video, I mentioned that 
These are simply mica pigments and they have no binder in them. So my one-to-one -one solution mixture is going to serve that purpose. And what you can do is just take a little bit and sprinkle it on. And this is one way to sprinkle it. There's, um, you can also pick it up with a small toothpick or something along that line. And just keep going like that. And I like to uh, close them up before I continue because right now I've got fans running. This is English lavender. Oh wow, that's really pretty. Okay. Oh, that's really nice. And then let's try Golden Nugget. This is Golden Nugget. I'm going to leave the bottom half uh, free of color just for the moment and see what I have here and I'm going to just spritz again with my solution. Now these mini misters don't hold much. You'll probably see me refilling this several times before we're done. What I like is how it um, moves into the crevices and I think I'm probably going to use, I've got a an old um, hairspray bottle that I cleaned out and I've got clean water in here. You can also add more water to this so you can get much more movement. And another thing I like to use is little coffee stirrers. I have these here. You can pick up your colors. I'm really liking this I think it's blue zircon. That is really, really pretty. spray a little more water on here for now. Okay, I'm getting a little impatient here. I think I'm going to start brushing the colors, colors around with my brush here. No patience have I got. brush and stick it in there. Oh, okay. I think that is the, um, what is this blue zircon that I, and I had the uh, golden nugget on there, so I'm getting this pretty teal color. Yeah, really, really nice. I like that. Okay, I think I'm overwhelmed with green here. So, I'm going to rinse my brush, put this cap back on, and then I'm going to try for, um, no, I think I'll do the English lavender. I'm not sure what that's going to do over the green, but... Let's just give it a go.
I think I'm going to get my other sprayer out that doesn't matter which direction it's I'm holding it. Okay, that's pretty. Really, really pretty. And then you can start letting this kind of bleed around and do its own thing. I think what I'll do now is I'll just speed up the, uh, the video so that you can just watch me add the colors. And I'll post them as I go along uh, so you'll know which color I'm using. So let me get, get that going and um, we'll see what happens. I think before I start adding any more color, I was going to mention that you can always remove some of it with a baby wipe. I like to keep these on hand and just dab some of it up if I don't want all that green on there while it's still wet and all. Maybe I'll get some more blue going or some yellow or purple. Yeah, I'll have to probably have to save this baby wipe when I'm done. It'll be too pretty to throw away. Okay, so I'll add some music right now and uh, we'll just play with the colors for a minute. The canvas is still wet, so I thought I would try spreading the color with my finger. I really like the control this gives me, and I can put a thicker layer down if I want. Of course, this can all change once I start spritzing it again. Okay, I've let this dry overnight on its own, and you can see it's got become much more pastel. And I'm afraid if I get too close to the camera, it might set that autofocus off. So I have inserted a still photo so you can get a good look at this. However, if you recall, I was only using water, just clear water, to uh, add all the pigments after that first layer when I was using the one-to-one -one solution. And so by doing that, I wasn't actually fixing anything above that first layer. So for example, I can rub the color right off. Since we don't want to do that, I'm going to take it outside and I'm going to spray it with a workable fixative just to set that so I can work on the piece more and add more water and watery products and so on without it rubbing off because I really like the way it's looking right now. So let me go do that. I'll come back and um, and then we'll carry on. Okay, I'm back. My fixative has dried and I'll show you with a clean finger that nothing's coming off. So we're good. 
everything will stay the way it is uh, up to the point of my next layer. So what I'm going to do so that I can fix the continuing layer, I'm going to use the solution straight. I've got a little palette here. I've got a black gold dynasty brush. This is a number 10 round. These brushes are really, really nice, I have to tell you. And I'm just going to fill in some of these areas that look too silvery or seem to be lacking color. I don't want to fill everything up, but um, that's what I'll do. I will post the colors that I'm using and uh, I'll just put on some music again and we'll fast forward through this section. happy with the colors now and if you recall I did use the solution I made the wash with my pigment powders and so now I've made I've actually made a watercolor paint with it and it is it's since the solution is a binder this is not coming off that's a clean finger Let's see this is a clean finger let's do it with this one see nothing comes off so we're good to go and what I want to do is use my metal embossed flowers from a previous video and I'm going to start laying these out in just in a random fashion. I'm not actually placing them for color now. I just want to see where I might need to place stems across here. I'm thinking something maybe along this line. What do you think? And then what I want to do is just take a light pencil or a charcoal pencil. Let me see if I've got a charcoal pencil here. And I just want to draw some, kind of trace out some stems here. I'm not sure if you're going to be able to see these, but I can see them pretty well. these and I'm going to do something I've never done before and that is I'm going to try to place some stems down using olive vine 3d radiant gels dimensional paint so here goes okay so I've got a couple of tools ready here I've got a spatula I've got this I think this is actually a clay tool but you can use it for all sorts of things this is in case I get in trouble and I've got a baby wipe at the ready. Now let me show you the Radiant Gels paint. This is a very creamy and thick paint that will hold up. When I lay it down it won't just lay flat, it will stay dimensional. So let me speed this up so that you don't have to watch me uh, belabor this and, uh, and then I'll come right Okay, here I'm using the first spatula. I'm not really having much luck with it. I can't seem to get it to come off, so I'm 
going to change over to the clay tool, which seems to be working better. And the nice thing is, is that I can can uh, remove any parts of it that I don't like while it's still wet. My stems are dry. I'm trying to be very careful. My camera doesn't particularly like the uh, the shininess of the aluminum, so I'm trying to be very careful so it doesn't make you nauseated. But um, everything's dry, and off camera, I went and sprayed this crystal clear acrylic coating from Krylon over the whole piece. Totally optional because, as I told you, we used the solution, and everything was uh, fixed to the canvas but I just wanted to add that just as an extra um, protection. And so while that was drying, I also started folding and forming these leaves that I had made along with the metallic flowers. And it's very simple to do. They're, they're just simple shapes that I cut out and colored them and then all you want to do is just kind of fold them like a leaf would look and kind of manipulate it with your fingernail and pinch it and get it however you like it just to give it some dimension so it's not sitting completely flat and then we're ready to glue everything down so let me put some music on and I'll fast forward the video at this point and I'll come back after that <laughs> 